Hey, I'm Devin, and you're watching Machine Embroidery for Beginners, which is a video series from Husqvarna Viking that's going to cover all the basic stuff you need to get up and running machine embroidering. We're going to be using a Designer Jade 35, and we're going to be talking about how to set up your machine for embroidery, how to pick a thread, stabilizer, and hoop, how to hoop up your project, and then finally we're going to stitch out a design using the machine. So this is going to be a good series to watch if you're new to machine embroidery and you want to get started, if you're curious about embroidery and you just want to learn a little bit about it, or maybe if you're kind of rusty and you just want to brush up on your basic knowledge. So let's get started with episode one, which is going to cover how to set up your Designer Jade 35 for embroidery. First things first, we have to take the cover off of our machine. The Designer Jade comes with this really cool integrated cover storage compartment combo unit, so we want to take that off first. You want to make sure that you turn the switch on the back, make sure that that is open. You also want to always have the presser foot lever down when you are removing or replacing the cover. So once those two things are taken care of, you can go ahead and just slide it right off. It's a pretty big compartment, so you can keep the foot pedal or the power cord accessories, candy, treasures, whatever you want to put in there, it'll fit. So it's a pretty cool feature. Your designer jade, when the embroidery unit is not attached, is going to operate in sewing mode. This means it's going to operate just like any other computerized Husqvarna Viking sewing machine. When you're ready to go into embroidery mode, you're going to attach the embroidery unit. So this is the embroidery unit. There's the embroidery plug, so this part is going to snap into the machine, and this is how the embroidery unit communicates with the machine. The embroidery arm is the big rectangular piece on the top, so this is going to move back and forth as you embroider, and it's going to be part of how the machine controls the design. There's the hoop attachment, which is on the embroidery arm. This is where the hoop snaps into place, and this also moves around as you embroider, again, so that the machine can control the design. The embroidery unit release button is underneath the short end of the embroidery unit, so when you're ready to take it off, you want to reach under it, grab it and squeeze it, and then you'll be able to slide the embroidery unit right off. To attach the embroidery unit, first we're going to take off the accessory tray on the machine. So we're going to reach under, just slide it right off, set it aside. The embroidery unit is going to slide on the same way the accessory tray does, around the free arm of the machine. You might have to lift it a little bit to get it lined up, and you're going to push it on until it snaps into place. And then we're going to raise the upper cover of our machine so we can see the screen, and we're going to turn it on. It's going to turn on in embroidery mode, and it's going to tell you that it needs to calibrate first. That's basically what this initial message is about. Before you click OK to calibrate, you want to check a couple things. You want to make sure there's no hoop attached. You want to make sure that the presser foot is up. You also want to check the vicinity of your embroidery unit and make sure there's nothing in the way because the arm of the embroidery unit is going to move around and you don't want it to hit any walls or knock over any drinks or anything like that. So once you checked all those things, you can go ahead and click OK to calibrate. Our embroidery unit is attached, so now it's time to take care of the presser foot. We don't want to use the standard presser foot, we actually want to use the embroidery or darning foot. You're going to find the screwdriver in your accessories kit, and you can loosen the screw that attaches the ankle of the presser foot to the presser bar. So we're going to take that all the way out. Don't lose it though, hang on to it. And you're going to take your darning foot and you want to slide the darning foot, the little white arm is going to go above the screw, the needle clamp screw, and the other lower white part is going to wrap right around the presser bar. And then you want to make sure that the hole in the white part of the darning foot is lined up with the hole in the presser bar. You'll put the screw back in there and screw it back in. And once you get started, you can finish tightening it with your screwdriver. And then your foot is all changed and ready to go. Next thing to take care of is the needle. You want to use an embroidery needle. 
Embroidery needles are special. Embroidery needles have slightly bigger eyes than other types of sewing machine needles, so this allows decorative threads and fragile threads to pass through them more easily without shredding or tearing. They also have a uniquely shaped scarf, which is the area right above the eye of the needle. This also helps pass decorative and fragile threads more easily through the eye of the needle without shredding or breaking. Just like any sewing, you want to choose the size of your needle based on the fabric you're sewing. So a heavier weight fabric can get a larger size needle and vice versa, lighter weight, smaller needle. And also just like regular sewing, every couple projects you wanna make sure you toss your needle and put in a nice fresh one. Your designer jade also comes with a USB stick. This USB stick is preloaded with 70 embroidery designs and one embroidery font. There's also a PDF on there that you can browse through and look at all your embroidery designs and choose them that way. These files are also backed up and available for download on the Husqvarna Viking website in case you lose your USB stick or anything else happens to it. But to put your USB stick in your machine, you're gonna look at the side of your machine. There's a USB port right above the power cord inputs. There's nothing too special about it. It's just like a computer. You're going to put the USB drive right in the USB port. So we've attached our embroidery unit and calibrated our machine. We changed our presser foot to our darning foot or embroidery foot. We made sure that we have an embroidery needle in our machine and we also put in our USB stick. So now machine wise, you're set up and ready to start embroidering, but there's a couple more things we have to go over first. So make sure you catch the next episode where we talk about thread and how to pick a thread for your embroidery project.